right, so now we're going to find out what the ratios were of the triangle that we came up with this. Now, staying consistent, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just change this to positive 4 and negative 7. Okay, this is, this is what we used last video, so we're going to keep using that. So, uh, it's the second we, uh, we drew it that way, so our triangle ended up looking like looking like this somehow. I might regret that later. Uh, anyway, so we had minus 7 as a distance here, and we had plus 4 here. And I'll keep the signs on there so you can see that it doesn't make a difference when we're trying to find the last value. Um, we need all the values, all the sides, in order to create our ratios. So first things first, we better find out what C is. Now, that's uh, good old Pythagorean. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Pay attention to how I'm writing this uh, linearly. Um, well, A and B, 4 squared plus negative 7 squared equals C squared. See, the negative will get rid of itself when it squares itself. 16 plus 49 equals C squared, so 65 equals C squared. Take the square root, during that grade 8. Root 65 equals C. Do yourself a favor and leave it in radical form, okay? as much as you can, okay? So I'll just rewrite that like that. All right, so what do we have now? Um, our angle theta, remember this is our axis and there's zero, so theta. Um, the sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. You know what, I'll move that over a little bit. Sine of theta is uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so that's uh, positive four over root 65 equals okay, 4 over root 65. Remember, don't leave a radical sign in the denominator, so I will rationalize it by multiplying it by itself. I'm really squaring a square root. But I have to do it to both sides to keep the fraction the same value. So what I get is uh, 4 root 65 over 65. Ugly, but that's how it is sometimes. But it's easy. It's, it's ugly, but it's easy. Come on. All right, and um, I mean, if it's not a semi we'll, we'll work it out. Cosine theta, I guess what I was saying is that when it's easy, is what I mean is that all we're doing is combining, I mean, grade 9 stuff, so Kotoa and Pythagoras. So it's, it's the thinking about it, which is new. Adjacent, minus 7 over 65. Oh, whoops, root 65. Same thing. I want to get rid of the radical sign, so I'm going to Multiply the top and bottom by root 65. And we'll just get rid of this. Don't need that anymore. And uh, what I get is negative 7 root 65 over 65. That's my cos value. And tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So another grade 9 thing. And opposite is. 4 over negative 7. Oh, positive 4 number. Well, hey, I mean, that was given to us right from the beginning. So we, we had that case already. So here's our three uh, ratios. Now, which ones are positive? Hmm, did I miss something? Which ones are positive? Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, negative. Aha, I miss it, okay? It's positive 4 over negative 7. Okay, um, I see that this one is positive, this one is negative, and this one is negative. I'm going to refresh ourselves with the cast rule, which we learned earlier, to see uh, if this checks out. Just a little kind of mental check. In quadrant one, here's our here's our cast, right? Okay, this is the cast rule. What that means is, if we were in quadrant two, the only positive one uh, ratio should be the sine ratio. Is that true? Let's see. Tan is negative, cosine is negative, sine is positive. It's true. Um, therefore, we know where signage is right. And we know this is right because uh, we, uh, we did the math work on it. Okay. So, um, yeah. Just takes a little bit of thinking about it. If this example is a little tricky, uh, practice it a couple times. Send me a holler if you need some, uh, some help on this. Okay. We got we to gotta nail this stuff.